yeah. Today, today. Said I woke up to the summer shining through. Calling on my friends, asking what's the move. Feeling a little different, I'm on something new. Today, today. I ain't gonna let no clouds get in my way. The only road I'm walking is the one I pick. Catch me sitting in the sun, no time for shade. Today, today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning, good morning, good morning everybody. This is Kiki from Living Food. I'm so glad that the Lord woke us up today. And if you are listening, we are blessed. I am here to share Living Food by Kiki. It is an amazing product that has restored my cells. I feel amazing. And God has blessed me with the platform to share with you that living water is the word of God for our spirit man and living food is for our temple. Once I started feeling amazing in mind, body and spirit, I needed to share. So here I am to share with you, but I'm so excited to introduce to you my friend, Debbie, who will be co-hosting with me. And uh, hi, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Kiki. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm well today. I'm well. Awesome. I'm feeling good. You sound well and you look well, if I may <laughs> add that. <laughs> yes, amen. Uh, Miss Debbie, um, can you please share how have you been feeling? I think it's been about two years since you've been on Living Food. Can you share the benefits, um, oh. what it's done for you? Oh, yes. It's given me a lot more energy. I feel... I feel more pep in my step. <laughs> I feel great. You know, I'm, I'm 55 and I feel amazing. I feel, I feel like I'm in, in my twenties. I, I cannot stress it enough. I feel great. Um, health wise. Um, great. I, I just can't, I can't, I cannot say it enough. I just feel great. Yeah. You know, um, I turned 59 in April and I made t-shirts made 59 <laughs> Feeling 29, ask me how. <laughs> Come on, there it is. Yes. yes. I think everyone's trying to feel better and we're all looking for something. And, you know, for me, it was coffee, maybe energy drinks, but it wasn't lasting and uh, it didn't feel uh, as good as what I feel right now. Mm -hmm. But um, so, yeah. So um, can you share um, how did we meet? It's been about two years, I believe, or maybe even three I believe it's been four years, Sister Kiki. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going back four years. Uh, we met, God, only God, um, we met at the Five Point Car Wash in uh, Whittier. And um, I seen you, I know I was in, I, with my husband and we were ha having the car wash. You were inside the waiting area. And I just so happened to step in and um, I just felt led because I seen you with the Bible on your lap and I just felt led to speak with you, not knowing, not knowing you were going through something that day. And, um, and that, you know, what you were, I guess you were just going through a lot that, that morning. And um, I was led to, to share with you, you know, to just to share the love of God. And um, which it turned out that you ended up for me sharing with you. And I knew it was, it, it was God. And spoke with speaking with you, it brought joy within your, you know, throughout your day that you needed to hear what God gave to you that day was, you know, words of hope. And um, yeah, that was about four years ago. And <laughs> I think like a month later, we ended up, uh, or I don't even think it was a month later, uh, you came with your friend, um, Yolanda. And uh, at that time, we were selling mattresses, and you need, were in need of one. And you came in, and oh my lord, uh, how we we looked at each other like I know you from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> not knowing, not knowing you were the lady I I, I ministered to that <laughs> at the car wash. Wow. <laughs> and you know, now that you mentioned four years, I remember now. I've been on Living Food for four years. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until living food on the third day that something broke. I felt really good, but I remember now. So it had to have been a little bit more than four years because yeah. I was still carrying. And I've mentioned this on my other programs. I was still carrying a lot of hurt 
yeah. from my prior divorce, which was a 98. Come on now, that's many years prior. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But there's some things that we just don't know how to shake it off or let go. And so I had to, it, it, my Bible was just everything to me. I just knew that I, I needed to have it. And I thought, you know, I'm going to wash my car and I haven't read my word yet. And I remember mm-hmm. taking it. And just in case somebody asked me, it's an opportunity to share living water. And so when you said that, it it did remind me. So it was soon after, I believe, after buying your mattress that I started on Living Food. And I'm not sure how I got back in touch with you or how that happened or if you called me because I think you said, Kiki, what are you doing? You look different on Facebook. Uh Uh-huh. I'm not sure, but that kind of rings a bell. Yeah, but you look amazing. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we all do. Everybody's getting the proper fuel. So yes. it's a win-win. Well, yes. Debbie, so, you know, we had a nice talk a few days ago and um, I got to hear many of your beautiful testimonies from your past. And mm-hmm. what stood out to me is when you said, when I asked you, what do you think got you through all that you went through. And when you said my grandma's prayer, there it was, because that's my situation. I was born in tent revivals and I was born here in the word of God with my grandma. And that's what's kept me all this time. But Mm -hmm. I would love to hear a little bit of your testimony um, that you were sharing with me. If if you don't mind, Um, when did you get to know God? And that was even after going through some things, right? Oh yeah, that was way after um, yeah, grandma's prayers got me where I'm at today. Um, yeah, that was when I was at a very young age. Um, you know, raised with, you know, mom, grandma was, I guess, staying with us at that time for a short while. And I remember that, you know, they would get us dressed, feed us, send us out and then don't come in until lunch <laughs> and then give us a snack, go out and don't come out, come back until the lights or the street lights come on. Mm-hmm. But every time I would try to sneak in, I would barge in and and go into the first room, which was uh, my grandma's room, my sister's. And grandma would always be sitting there on the floor doing her rosary, would always be praying. And uh, it, it was just, con. it was all the time I always barged in. And somehow I always barged in at the time she would be praying. I'm like, oops, sorry. And um, not knowing, you know, I was too young, just knew, okay, be quiet. That's grandma, she's praying. Not knowing later, that, you know, growing up, I was also invited to church with uh, the neighbors, you know, my friends, parents, you know, I went to church, I believe I might have been seven, eight years old. I remember going to a church and then they oh, who wants to receive the Lord or oh, who hasn't received the Lord. And um, they were like, go, go, go up there, go up there. I'm looking back like, I don't know anybody. <laughs> I don't want to go up yeah. there, you know. So I went up there with my hands up, yes, and received Jesus. I didn't quite understand. I was still too young. But growing up in Santa Fe Springs, <laughs> uh, there was always, I remember, um, you know, a lot of things happening at home. When we always want to be, when kids, you don't always want to be home. You want to be out and about playing. And uh, at that time, there was always a white bus that would go around the neighborhood and pick up kids for Sunday, for church. So I ended up jumping on board on that bus me and the kid, the neighbors and the kids on the block and um, got our first Bible and, you know, had games and, and uh, received the Lord again there. Wow. We didn't know there were Christian church. Mom and dad brought us up in the Catholic church. We went to church Sundays as much as we can. And um, yeah, you know, they brought us up to in Catholic church and I didn't quite understand who all these statues, saints and all these, I didn't, we went, but, it was, you know, just going with the flow with mom and dad, you know, taking us. And so I, I was in touch with a lot with churches, but yet I was still young, didn't have no understanding, you know, and yeah. went, along, went along with it. And not yeah. knowing that one day, not knowing one day when I, I, was, I got old, you know, we get older and experience with drugs and, um, you know, I came from, you know, home, dysfunctional family, drugs, and I was introduced to drugs and, you know, meth, 
uh, cocaine was the first, but the first one was cannabinol, which I really didn't want to do it. That was a very ugly experience. And then from that point on, it went to, they introduced me, family members introduced me to uh, another one was cocaine. And then from there went to mass. So I was bound by drugs for many years, sister. What age was that, Debbie? Oh, I might have been maybe 16, 15, 15 when I, 15, I think when I first did that kind of, no, that was the ugliest experience I had, you know, and it starts in the home and um, not knowing that I was going to be the one. How come you didn't tell anybody else in the family, but why Debbie, you know, (laughs) why me, you know? But not knowing, I guess, because the enemy has planned, you know, not knowing I was, you know, experiencing uh, going to different churches and receiving the Lord, but not knowing the seed was already planted, you know. And yeah. so he came, he came to discourage and, 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 and ruin and mess up my walk. And because wow. uh, I look back at it now, I said, oh, I was a target. I was the one. I was a threat to him, the enemy at, at, in my mother's home. And yeah. um so from that point out, I was on, I was on drugs, and um, for many years. And uh, along the way, you know, I have I have six children now, all grown up, beautiful children. And um, oh, so Debbie, when did you accept the Lord? Oh, this was back in well. But the funny thing you say that because it takes me back to when I was having a lot. Of, <laughs> I wasn't looking for God. I was just so bound by drugs, and I, it was just uh, so much anger. I guess I had a lot of anger and resentment because of a, a lot of rejection in the house, yeah. from family, mom, dad. I just felt like I was the one rejected. Nobody loved me. Where I became so angry that I even hated myself, blamed myself. Yeah. Why me? You know why? why don't why don't why don't I feel loved you know so I it starts at a young age I started young I I believe it started when I was eight years old well I began to feel the rejection and started feeling lonely and um just felt like the outcast like you know like so later in life later on as I got older um I would say I came to the Lord back in 2000, no, maybe it was nine, in 1998, I believe it was. Okay. And, um, you know, I was still a mess, <laughs> was still a mess. And uh, I remember one of the, a friend of mine came out of prison and she was shared the Lord with, with me. And I you know, I heard her and she prayed and I, you know, okay, thank you. And, but not knowing what I was going to go through and then began to start having dreams. I had a lot of dreams and um, people, friends, I've been around friends that were encountering <laughs> and they were high encountering demons, portholes opening. Did you see them coming out? I was like, no, I missed it, you know, but I always had angels around me. I always seen angels mm-hmm. I had encountered and, um, But then I began experiencing having um, dreams, but I was always seeing things from the past. And I remember what got my attention was uh, I seen, I guess it was scriptures engraved on clay in my mother's, uh, it was a dream in the backyard. Wow. So the one that illuminated to me, it was all these scriptures. And the one that I took notice that came out was Isa and it was Isaiah 55. 55.5 55.5 and I'm going crazy looking trying to find it I'm looking in the bibles what's Isa? what's Isa? but you didn't know what that scripture was until the dream and no never wow I read the bible I always had my bible that I got from that church I kept it in the hall bathroom and um there was always a lot of activity in the hallway and especially in that bathroom but I kept my ba- my bible in that bathroom and uh, would open it. And then every time there was a fight or something, fight, you know, there was a lot of drinking and, and fighting in the hallway, my dad and everybody. I always went to the restroom and opened the Bible. Who took it off the toilet tank? And then you look at it, it would be hidden in the cupboard. I pull it up, but I knew 
but I opened it in the red writing, Jesus, I know you're in here. Help us. <laughs> wow. I mean, not knowing <laughs> that that was faith, you know, I didn't know, but I seen the red writing and I said, I know you're, in, you're here. I know you're alive. Come and help us send help and never failed it. It was always like the police came and calmed everything down. And, you know, because I was always crying for help and open the Bible, you know, and that was my, that was my hope. And I believed in it, you know, not, but I was still very young still yeah. at that time and, and did that, but not knowing later in life, as I got older, back in the, in the nineties, um, bound by drugs and, you know, my life was a mess. I had my, my children. I had, I think three at the time. Yeah. And, um, and then the, with the dreams came and a lot of the Jehovah Witnesses were coming in the door, knocking and uh, Mormons. Tell me where you come inside and tell me what this means. Isa, tell me, do you guys, do you know what this means? You know, tell me, find it. You know, I'm going crazy. And um, they couldn't even help me. And, and they left me a Mormon book. They left me. And I remember seeing Isa and I looked it up and it was like, I guess, talking about Jacob. And Jacob wrote on on stone, and he used it like and like a pillow under his head. And so I was like, "Oh, that's it!" Like, so it, you know, it talks about like the Bible. But you know, later along the years, as I finally received the Lord as my personal Lord and Savior back in uh, ninety nine, a year later. Oh my goodness, I was going through so much, and um, then I discovered it was Isaiah fifty five five. And, um, oh my gosh, I didn't even bring my Bible. It's in the living room. Um, but uh, Isaiah 55, 6 says, uh, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon his name while he is near. When I seen that, and then let the wicked forsake their ways. <laughs> and I, wow. I shut the Bible right away. I was like, oh, not me, uh -huh. you know. I said, I'm not looking for you. I'm not ready, you know, because it, it spoke to me. And right then and there, it was just like, oh, I'm the last person you would want. Mm. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm going get to a, get a little emotional. Oh, God is so faithful. God is so faithful. And he loves us so much. And he cares about every detail in our life. And just looking at where you're at today, Debbie, um it's it, it's a testimony and um, yeah. oh it's, Lord, okay. like, <laughs> it's <laughs> i couldn't i couldn't believe why me you know why me i'm the last one everybody hates me nobody loves me i'm mm -hmm. the, you only want good people mm -hmm. and uh, you know he's a good god and not you don't want me and um but it, it progressed since the, from that point on, I was just more, it seemed like I was more attacked by the spirits in my mother's house. That house hated me <laughs> for some reason. Mm. And I, now I understood, now I understand it. It was the spirits in that house hated me that I found yeah. my, the God, the God I found my way. <laughs> Amen. That God, I was chosen. <laughs> that He found me. He chose me. I wasn't looking. I'm not looking to change my life. I'm in total darkness. Believe me, I'm comfortable. Leave me alone, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but He came and put that spotlight on me. I'm like, no, not me. And yeah. um, from that point on, I received. <laughs> I received the Lord and <laughs> uh, believe me, it was a struggle where I ended up being um, evicted out of the house because the Lord spoke. I remember after just receiving the Lord and got to know him and oh boy, was I in love. <laughs> I found, I found, I found something that I love, you know, and he chose me and then, uh, you know, Jesus loves me. When I discovered that, that, <laughs> That was like me jumping up and kicking up my heels and saying, somebody loves me. I'm not alone no more. No, now I, now I, I, I'm not ugly no longer. I don't, I'm accepted, not rejected. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, 
And that's a lie from the enemy. We know that all now. All right? lies. Oh, he there. kept me in the darkness and bondage and kept me from the truth. Yes. Oh, yes. Sister Kiki. And uh, from throughout the years, uh, serving the Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. <clears throat> I went through a trial of being out in the street when the Lord told me, pack your things and go. And I looked up when that, that it was like the like roof, roof of my, of house, my house came off and the voice came out like a, through a light. And, and it was audible. And I looked up like, where did that voice come from? And I said, where am I going to go? And so it, it, that was, I know now it was rebellion. I re rebelled against the Lord's voice. And because he wanted to finish the work he started in me, but couldn't finish it in that house because of all the activity was taking place. <clears throat> and so yeah. like months later, something happened and it turned that they ended up, my family, my uh, he, um, he evicted me, put me out of the house, got a restraining order. It's like, what did I do? You know, but you know, because I was disobedient to the voice of God that I was put out. And so, boy, was I scared. Where am I going to go? I'm in the street now. Where are me and my three kids going to do, you know? And um, I had a, I was married at the time, a husband that was with uh, diagnosed with bipolar schizophrenia. So basically I had four children. Mm -hmm. And um, so scared as heck um, throughout those years, I had, I was so scared, but I had to trust God, but God had me covered all, <laughs> all those years. He, I always had a, an angel always stand on standby and um, helped me get through it where I had to learn. So I was still like one foot in with the with doing good and one foot out and, and doing drugs I was still um unbalanced you know yeah and uh, so I really did want to quit and so I was in one foot in one foot out oh you know I wasn't completely surrendered to the Lord <clears throat> so as a long time went on I was still in my stubbornness still in my you know addiction and you know we we're out in the streets living in the motels and back and all diff all over I didn't drive um we just, I went as far as pushing shopping carts, you know, and, and believe me, it was hard. It was tiring where I even had to come to a point where whatever money I had that we collected, it would never get us a week and a half to the end of the month to get us a whole month paying the, the, the room, the hotel. And um, so I had to go. And the last thing I would ever thought I would ever do was go out and panhandle. Never thought I had to go that low. Uh, Kiki. Wow, that lion. That, that mm -hmm. was so embarrassing. I cried. I don't want to yeah. do that. I didn't. Yeah. I don't want to. You know the the embarrassing, the embarrassment, and the friends I went to school with. Everybody that knew who I was saw me at my lowest. Mm. And um, but I I learned that you know along the way. Yeah, it helped me get through. But I said, Lord, just. Give us enough money to pay for the hotel, five dollars each for each kid to buy them a happy meal, but no money for drugs. <clears throat> and Sister Kiki, that's what I got. What I asked for is what I got. Never enough. I never had money for drugs. So along the way, I kept going. And and believe me, I, I fought myself to keep it going out to ask. <laughs> I didn't want to, but everyone that that knew me seen me and even some of them would help me and they would just wave and like oh I feel so embarrassing with this big old shopping cart going to the next motel because we got kicked out of one you know I need the rest because we had you have to pay by a certain time in the morning by noon if not you got to leave so here we go strolling all with you wow <laughs> I am and, so blessed just to know yeah. Miss Debbie that you uh -huh. just bought a new home <laughs> <laughs> yeah Years later, I found a key in the street many years ago, and I said, "That's the key to my house." <laughs> wow, that's the key. And that's you know, beautiful. yeah, along the way, sister, uh, not knowing, I said, "Lord, I one day I'm gonna have a business," you know. But you know, at the uh, later, you know, I was removed out of the kid's life. I was removed from my children, and um, I I was still dipping and dabbing. But, you know, at that time, I got tired of pushing the shopping carts, and I just stopped in the middle of Whittier Boulevard in Whittier, mm. right there at the corner of Greenleaf and Whittier, and I just stopped. And I said, 
I stopped and, you know, people look at you because they look like you're a crazy person when you see people talking. <laughs> yeah. So I was one. I go, I understand where they're at, you know, if they get angry. Because I stopped and I began to yell, all right, God, <laughs> that's it. I'm sick and tired. I'm, it's hot. I'm sick and tired of pushing the shopping cart. I'm sick and tired of living this life. I'm sick and tired. I don't know where that finish line is. You know my comings. You know my goings. You know where that finish line is. I don't know how far I have until I get to that that finish line, you know, to to win the race. I go, but if you get me out of this situation, I promise to serve you for the rest of my life and I will share to every person about you <laughs> years later <laughs> years later i was i was set free i went i went and did all my parenting classes um uh, my drug uh classes um i did everything i got my kids back i got them back because i lost all the rights and everything but i got them back in 2011 for my children you know, and, and that, the, yeah, the yeah. enemy kept thinking, mm. oh, yeah, there's no hope. You lost your parental rights. You're never getting them back. They're in the system. You're never mm-hmm. getting them back. I said, no, I was going to, uh, I was attending a freedom center, Pastor Jason Lozano at the time. And he told me in 2010, Deborah, you're getting your children back. The Lord said, you're getting your kids back. And that got me like pumped up. I'm getting them back today. But a year later, I got them at the pre- exact time when he told me. Amen. And I got oh, them. Wow. And boy, was everybody angry. The enemy was so pissed off. And um, I got my, we ended up getting our first uh, rental (laughs) in Uptown Whittier. And um, today I've been believing that we were going to get a house. And just last year we bought our first house. Congratulations. (laughs) Wow. Yeah, we ended up with our first match. We had a business. Um, I did remarry and a wonderful man. And, um, we uh, ended up in 2007, started a mattress business. You know that we started a business on $10, $10. Wow. And we got our first mattress. I don't know. And I say, go, oh, we're going to, and I always prayed over the money. I said, Lord, you, everything comes from you. And we're, well, we're going to go with this. What You're going to open some doors. And it, it turned into a mattress business for many years since 2007. Kiki, yeah. and that's how we, I met, that's how we met. <laughs> yeah for the second time I went and got a mattress and you delivered I'm like wait a minute we met at the car wash and and then there how who I knew? <laughs> who knew that God was going to put us on the same path Come on. wow God is so good you know he has a plan and now we walk in God confidence we don't walk in self-confidence and I post that all the time I walk yeah. in God confidence he orders my yeah. steps and he restores and God is faithful. Really, I just say there is no plan B, right, Debbie? That's right. There's there no is plan no plan B. B. But wow. I'm just going to say this, that, you know, but because of grandma, because yes. of grandma, grandma's prayers. So I'm yes. all I, I, I just have to share is that I, now I'm a mom, I'm a grandma, and I pray for my children. I pray for my grandchildren. And I declare that peace would be still in their lives. I, I, I continue to pray just like grandma did. And so I seen that now it's trickled down to me. So it, it does work. Never stop praying for our children, our families, yeah. our grandchildren, because all the generations to come, because you got to prepare the, the way for them. Ah, oh, I get it now. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. I miss my grandma. Uh, she was hilarious, my grandma, but she would pick me up every Sunday from a broken home, take me to church, mm-hmm. and then go eat taquitos in the city of Southgate. But <laughs> you know what? I love the Lord. And it came it to does. the point where in my junior high or high school, you know how they used to have cruising up and down Woodyard Boulevard, Debbie? Yes. You remember I that? Remember. Well, I, I used to be out there preaching. Wow. They're giving tracks. I was... You know, I just want people to feel freedom. And, you know, you look at people and they're just not free. They think that they want to fill that gap with something or someone. But we all know that, you know, that's not the case. Only God can can fill that void. But, I mean, I just look at you. You're so beautiful. You have a beautiful Christian family now. And um, uh, I know that you had shared that um, 
your husband um, didn't try living food right away. But before I ask you that, I do want to put out some information in case someone would like to get a hold of me. And my yeah. website is uh, zervita.com forward slash living food by Kiki. And that would be Z U R V I T A dot com forward slash living food by Kiki. And also social media, it is living food by Kiki. And if you would like to call me, you can call me at 562 665 5115. This is what I do. I love sharing living water and living food. It is my recipe. And it's working. It's not, it's mine that I've discovered the combination, but it's working for everyone that uh, partakes in that. So, so Debbie, I think at first your husband was not open as a lot of times um, that's the case. <laughs> yeah. The first year I began with uh, living food, uh, joined your group and I introduced it to Robert, my husband, but he was not interested at that time. So I continued, but then we, you know, had a financial setback. So I stopped for that first year for the remaining of the six months. And then I got, um, seeing that my husband wasn't, uh, my husband was going through some, uh, um, health issues and, um, even for myself, you know, but I believe that one day I would get back on it, uh, join the group again. And, uh, I think I did reach out to you. And um, I did call customer service and I did get back on, on board. I called you and um, it's been now two years and my husband, <laughs> he has not had one episode of the health uh, issues that he was having. The doctors were giving him prescription. He has so many pills uh, saying, you know, uh, he was sick with this and, you know, a, a diabetic and all these other things, but. Um, he hasn't had an episode because we didn't believe he was diabetic. We were like, no, that's not it. He, you know, but um, yeah, he hasn't had any episodes since uh, for the past two years. He hasn't been to the doctor. He's been, he, he goes, I don't believe I don't need to take prescription pills, Debbie. I don't need to take those. And um, he, they still prescribe them, but he's not taking them. But he hasn't had one episode, one setback. And, um, wow. and for myself, you know, I, it's now that I've been with it consistently, it's consistently for two years, my husband and I, we feel good. He looks great for 63 years old. I'm telling you, um, wow. he's work, right now he's back at work. He's working two jobs and, um, you know, uh, we're, we're really good for our age. And for him, I'm like, wow, you know, and, and yeah. uh, younger people are, People that are, that are younger than him at work are asking, what are you doing, Rob? What are you doing that you, oh, I'll talk to my wife. You know, it's, you know, the vitamin, this supplement that I'm taking. And, yeah. um, and I said, well, get on board and introduce, uh, you know, Living Food by Kiki and uh, join the group, you know, get people on board because, you know, we want to help people restore their, their health. You know, we don't yeah. want people dying. We don't want to see people sick, and especially my own, your own family, you know, and that's, we're the first ones you want to help. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, you know, friends and family and, and introducing uh, Kiki, um, introducing you, Kiki, to them. And, uh, you know, because you just I can only share my experience. Yeah. And when you shared your testimony and what you're what you encountered, I got to uh, experience it and, and got on board. And and, and now it's. Now, now, now you got like, Kiki-itis. <laughs> you got yes. kiki and now you're going and, and sharing. That's what people call me. Oh, my God, Kiki, every time I leave your house, I get kiki and I, I want to share. I said, well, we have to share. You know, yes. people need to know that living food exists because you just mentioned you're very young. People are waking up tired at any age. At any age. And oh what does that mean? That they have to still continue to work, go to school and try to think. And they're tired because why? Because we're not giving ourselves cell food. It That's really right. makes sense. Um, it makes sense. You know, the, yes. the fog, my, I had brain fog. fog. I, I thought I was losing it for a little while, you know, until I started um, taking the, the supplement and um, I had brain fog and I was would drive and feel that 
am I going to get lost? Am I going to forget my way home? You know, because those things, it does, it does hit you. And yeah. so, um, no, I haven't had that encounter again. Um, I got, now my daughters have joined and um, that my daughter had a, a good encounter. I just heard <laughs> she had a, she had her encounter uh, two days ago. Well, yesterday uh, she called me. Yes. And um, she had her first encounter. She's been on it for the last year and she, then she stopped and then she just had her encounter and shared it yesterday. <laughs> wow. She had a skin, I guess something with going on with her skin and not knowing that mom, um, she goes, my skin, that little sore I had, it would rub against her leg on her, her lining area, bikini lining. Yes. And um, she goes, mom, it hurt. And when she showered hurt and when she walked, it hurt. And then all of a sudden, she discovered that, hey, it doesn't hurt no more. Hey, it's getting better. When I shower, it doesn't hurt when I wash. And she's like, what am I doing different that, I, that I'm not paying attention to other than, you know, I'm doing the same thing every day. And she goes, oh. she took a, she just thought, and she goes, oh, my goodness. She goes, wow, that she had to call me to tell me, mom, <laughs> I have I had to really take a step back to really look at what am I doing that's different that I'm getting better. And she goes, I've been taking the supplement for two weeks straight. Mom, I believe now. I believe awesome. that that my yeah. that skin disorder is better. Yes, um, yes. You know, Debbie, they're aha moments. Yeah. Yes. And it took her this long and then for her. You know, and that was funny because just starting, you know, sharing my testimony with you more and you're hearing so much. <laughs> I got so many stories. Oh, yeah. And, this um, is why we're sharing because people need to know and stop being skeptical uh, and just know that. <laughs> do you know that this one drink is um, equal to 56 supplements and over seven hundred dollars worth? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's why it's a little bit hard to believe because we've never had anything like this before. And I thank mm -hmm. God. And I know it's God on the yeah. move because if we're tired, if we have brain fog, first of all, what good are we in uh, sharing the word of God? Mm -hmm. Because we're too busy trying to push through another day. Right. So right. I know that this is the Lord. I know my testimony. I know my children. You know, I know the health challenges that I had. And let me tell you, um, if anybody's on medication, do what the doctor says. However, yeah. the more cell food nutrition, just drink it and let it speak for itself. Yeah. Because our bodies require natural. And I could not cook what's in this one drink on any given day. Matter of fact, really yeah. nobody can. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. some people will take longer or really realize that <laughs> it is working and nutrition is not a feeling just like Jesus. We go by right. faith. Just know right. that what you're putting in your body, it's self and nutrition. And I wasn't educated on nutrition, but I have a scientific study that talks about all the, the cell food that's in there and what it helps with the memory, um, slowing down the aging process, uh, the liver, the kidneys, you know, uh, supports the sugar levels. Mm -hmm. You know, we can go on and on. Yeah, so I'm learning. Right, I'm learning now, sister. About um, not real life. Not, well, I, I believe me, I'm not a doctor, but didn't understand that our bodies are made with so many cell groups. Yeah, and our bodies, we get our energy from all the cell groups in our in our being in our bodies. Yeah, and uh, I was like, wow, you know. So it starts from the inside out. And not, now in the last two years, I'm learning so much about cells yes. and cell food. We need to build and feed our cells so yes. we can build, rebuild on the inside to, so we could reveal the beauty on the outside. Amen and, you that. know, yeah, it, it's that planet seed, you know, you plant the seed and you begin to watch it grow, water it, tend to it love it, you know, just like the word of God and, and nurture it and feed it. And, and then what happens? We end up blooming and, yeah. and our bodies restored because it, it's just that 
taking the time and, and that gave me hope, you know, and, and, you know, the word of God gives us hope, you know, and yeah, just by yeah. Faith, feeding it, feeding it. Um, yeah, I've learned so much. Uh, on even self. happier, Debbie, even happier. I, I feel <laughs> happy and nothing's even happened. I just, I feel like this weight has been taken off me, not only physically, you know, Come because on. I lost inches because why I stopped craving sugar. I stopped yeah. craving coffee. Why? Because happy sales, happy body, happy they body. content. Yeah. And they <laughs> said, wow, thank you. You gave me the proper fuel. Finally, in your 59 years, <laughs> you've given me the proper tool to do what I need to do. So the cravings for me stopped. I would go and eat something and I got full, but I felt content. I felt happy. And it's so funny, but, you know, I do wellness fellowships after uh -huh. church. And I said, free lunch on me. And then I would give samples. And in 20 minutes, I say, does anybody feel anything different? And somebody may come in with an ache or somebody may come in with anxiousness and they'll yes. raise their hand. I said, wait a minute. Is it just me? I'm like, no, that's how fast the cell food works. The minute you drink it, it goes right to your cells. It is pre-digested. Yeah, so they're starving. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's just, yeah they're food. hungry for all good superfoods. It's there. Our body is really craving the good nutrients that our bodies are that we're not giving our bodies. Yes. Okay. We're all this food that we're eating out and, and cooking. And it's really not good for us, but our bodies are craving and, and starving for yes. the, good, the supplement, the nutrients, the cells that our body needs to live and, and, you know, to bring us good health and, and good health starts from the inside is what we are, what we eat. Yes. Well, you got it now, girl. And yeah. I know when people, you know, try to um, challenge me, I'm like, you know what? I'm not here to convince. I'm just sharing my testimony. Mm -hmm. I got mine, my kids, my grandkids, you know, <laughs> we feel good. And yeah. I'm just simply sharing. And then I say this, you know, it's about $2 and 60 cents a drink. I used to spend that on unhealthy drinks and unhealthy food. And I didn't think twice about it, but here you bring 10 years advanced nutrition and all of a sudden mm -hmm. we become scientists. Oh yeah. You know, wait a minute. And I say this, they said, um, well, let me take it to my doctor. Feel free to take it to your doctor. But I say, did you take that taco or your burrito to your doctor? Ah, uh, come on. on. That's uh, That's, yeah. Ooh, so I like that. I just think, sister, it goes back to the word of God. This product lines up. It's the renewing of the mind. What did they teach us? Sometimes we have to unlearn and we mm -hmm. need to put in something else. And when you show the facts of this versus what we're eating every day, it's pretty much simple saying that, you know what, let me give myself 30 days. Let me give myself 90 days because I know I'm worth it and I feel good. And, um, you know, sometimes I'll have two or three wellness presentations and I'm doing two or three drinks a day. Girl, I'm just so happy. It really does affect the mood. <laughs> it it, it does. does affect the mood. It so does, I, God has restored me. You know, I'm not crying every day anymore. Now I have joy. joy. And uh, mm -hmm. now I have something to offer, you know, other people. So living food by Kiki. Say that again. Living food by Kiki. Yes. Living Join food by group. Kiki. So, um, Debbie, where do you live? In Corona? I'm in Riverside. In Riverside. Riverside, okay. California. Beautiful. Well, mm -hmm. I look forward to... Um, uh, sharing with your family. I know we're going to get together and do wellness parties, wellness yeah. fellowships. It's, it's an exciting uh, journey, Debbie. And mm -hmm. I want to thank you for um, just saying yes right away to, to joining me here on KBRG mm -hmm. and tell your family that I love them and thank you for being open. And I'm looking forward to more uh, testimonies uh, from your family. So Ooh. I want to share my contact information again. And my website is zervita.com forward slash living food by Kiki. And that's Z U R V I T A dot com forward slash living food by Kiki. 
and social media, Living Food by Kiki. And my phone number is 562-665-5115. And for those that don't know, Zervita means risen life in Latin. So I know I feel like I've been given a second chance. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, thank you, Debbie, once again. And uh, we'll be connecting soon. And I want to hear more of those testimonies. Okay, sister? Yeah. Yeah. But sister, can I share this one thing yes. that, you know, being bound by drugs all those years and thinking that from that, all that meth, thinking that I was going to be up and feeling good and it made, gave me energy and everything. But you know what? I have more energy now than I did back then. Wow. And how young I was. But you know what? I, I'm so grateful to, you know, uh, joining Living Food by Kiki. And um, I'm not where I used to be. I feel more alive than I did back then. I'm yeah, so grateful. Yeah. I'm so grateful for this product. Amen. 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 <laughs> you know, and one day we're going to have uh, some of the listeners giving their testimony. I know it's going to happen and they're going to say, wow, well, because I said yes, you know, and, <laughs> and gave it a chance because we're Amen. so worth it and our families yeah. are worth it because yeah. even irritability is getting better. It's just the wrong fuel, not because we're having a bad heart. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So that's true. Amen. Okay, Thank you, girl, sister. We love you. you too. We love you too. God bless okay. you, sis. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank Amen. you, everybody. And Thank remember, you. happy self. Happy, happy body. body. Yes. <laughs>